I had a, to take an elective in junior college, and uh, I chose this class, chromatics. And when I went in there, I found out everybody had mispronounced it and called it ceramics. So I went to college and I saw a ceramics. I was in a flower shop back in the 70s and I saw this planter and it was rather kind of like an epiphany. I had never been introduced to anything like that before. I'd never seen it. And it definitely, it was magic, totally magic for me. Well, we don't, we don't collaborate on everything, no. Uh, I do everything she tells me to and works everything better works way. better that way. <laughs> <You know. laughs> <So>. <laughs> we find that we're both stronger coming together to interpret design concepts and putting the uh, nuances and the dimension to them. And uh, we seem yeah. to collaborate on that. Whenever one's wild, the other one sort of pulls them back to earth. And uh, that, that helps uh, in the overall design of stuff. Yeah, usually. and it, it, I think we can achieve a better balance. The piece that we've made for Channel 8, uh, I love these mixed media. I like the idea of using the metal, stone, commercial tile, fused glass, slumped clay pieces and compiling them, and actually I think of them really as compilations. It's like they a make, symphony. Yeah, it, yeah, in a way. Yeah. It's true. It's yeah. like all of these different... You have the horns uh, over here, and you have the drums going on right. over here. I mean, it's just different elements that are coming together, and, you know, always trying to create something that's dynamic is going to cause the eye to stop and poise and, and go, what's going on? And yet then there's a balance, there's with color, the materials that we've chosen so that there is some kind of a resolution also in the work.